Hey guys, it's Kyle with Rhino. I have the Rhino Rig full kit in front of me along with its case. I wanna show you where everything fits and how to use it. First up, we have the base kit, which folds up to be super compact, so you can either carry it in the case or in a separate bag if that's all you're gonna be filming with. Next is the rail system, which goes into its pocket here. It's a little foam, foam piece that holds it in place once you fold everything up and you carry it with you. Now, if you purchase the counterweight, it's an optional item with the full kit. It's a five pound counterweight. It's secured here by a little piece of Velcro that holds it in place really securely. This you'll use if you're using a really heavy setup and you need to get the weight back over your shoulder instead of all the weight being on your arms. Next up is the cage system. Now there's three different heights. When you buy your Rhino, your Rhino rig, you'll be able to choose which cage height you want. It goes from small, medium to large. Uh, most of you, if you're using DSLR, will get a small cage. If you're using Red Epic or Red Scarlet, you'll get a medium. And if you're using anything really tall, like a 1DC or a C100 or C300, you'll get the large. You can check out the full specs on the site. If you do purchase additional cage heights, there's extra storage below it for the large and the medium cages. Included is a bag of bubble wrap parts that contain your two captive screws, a quarter 20 and a 3 8 depending on what camera you're mounting, two rosette caps, so if you wanna take off the arms of the system completely and just have the cage and whatever shoulder rest you want, you can use that. Also contains two longer screws for mounting your cage, which you'll swap out when you add the cage to the system, and some spare washers in case you end up losing any of them. Now we designed this case to be very secure and tight fitting. And one thing to note is with the Rhino rest, when you put it in and you take it out, you wanna make sure that the pads are safe and not deformed at all. So when I take this out, I'm gonna take it out section by section, and then I'll be able to form fit it to my shoulder. Now when you put it back in, you just wanna make sure that everything fits in place and you do it slowly, just so nothing gets stuck. Now the beauty of the whole system with the case and with the runner rig is that you can choose what system to build depending on what style of filming you're doing. A lot of times I only just use the base kit. Uh, I don't need a full cage and monitor system. I just really want a way to stabilize my, my camera. Now, if I wanna add a rail system or a follow focus or a matte box to that, it's really easy. All you have to do is bolt on the rail system with four simple bolts. Um, now, if you're shooting with a heavier camera and you do want a counterweight, uh, or if you want something that's more comfortable, I definitely pull out the Rhino rest, put that on, conform it to my shoulder, and it's definitely a lot better than the buttstock for a full day of shooting. Uh, the cage is just awesome to get low to the ground shots and to have additional mounting points and um, really ways to carry your camera around if you're using a bigger setup. So you guys can really choose how to build it out depending on what your day looks like, um, but you have all the components with you so you can choose to do that on set. And when I go to pack this thing up after a shoot, the first thing to do is if you have a counterweight, you wanna secure it with the Velcro. Next up, take one of the foam flaps. You can secure it via the Velcro on the inside of the case. You can do this with both sides. I just make sure that everything stays secure and put in place when you fold the whole thing up. Next up, it folds up like a briefcase. Take one of the zippers, fold it around, and you're good to go. If you guys have any questions at all, please email support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.